Your name is... Jacqueline, sir. Well then, Jacqueline, perhaps you would explain to me the stage you have reached in the lesson. Uh, yes, sir. Well, I'm a French princess. <laughs> Come in. You did ask to see me, Headmaster. Please sit down. Would you read this newspaper report, please, and tell me whether there has been any unfortunate confusion of identity? No, I... I did speak at this meeting, and... that's a pretty fair report of what I said. I see. Can I have the cutting back, please? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Proudly Jones. That will be all. No. Look, what's all this about? I don't wish to discuss it further. You have a class now, I believe. You sent for me in the middle of class to ask me about a meeting I spoke at during the holidays. I've got a right to know what it's about. Very well. I simply wish to ascertain whether you had chosen to continue your vendetta against me to the extent of bringing my school into public disrepute. This has got nothing to do with you. Or the school. Damn it, a man's political opinions are his own business. I don't wish to argue with you. Still less exchange profanities. You're not at one of your street corner meetings now, Paula Jones. But I would have thought that even you would have recognized that a schoolmaster's public conduct reflects on the school and that you have brought Bamfield into disrepute. Perhaps I should not be surprised. It follows a pattern. Do you mind telling me what else you've got in that fire? I do. And I regard the request as impertinent. Well, that's that then, isn't it? Wait a moment, David. Please sit down again. I have no wish to harm you personally. It must be clear to you by now, though, that I'm not going to change my ways to suit you, despite your attempts to undermine my position here. On the contrary, because of your unprofessional conduct, it is your career that's in jeopardy. The facts are indisputable. I don't want your career destroyed, Pilot Jones. In another school, you might make a valuable contribution. Your colleague Carter chose to resign. I think you should consider following his example. There would be no urgency. I would take your word as a gentleman that you were seeking other posts. And you need not concern yourself about my references. They would contain no comment on your opposition to me. Oh, no. You want to get rid of me. You're going to have to get me dismissed. If you think that the evidence in that little file of yours is strong enough to do it. I'll go back to my class now with your permission, Headmaster. Sorry, the taxi was late. Well, it came at last. Did you think I never would? Uh, well, I didn't think you would. I, I keep hearing rumours about snap elections. Oh, Bill Hampton can get on without me for one day. I think the agent will be glad to get rid of me. He says none of the other candidates he's known has given him such a bad time. 
Is he any good? He would be if he thought I had a chance. Leave it to me, Mrs. Forster, he says. I'm a local man. I know how to handle local people. What he means is he's superior biologically, geographically, and... Oh, let's forget about him. Lead on, David. Let's go and imbibe some of those age-old values. Sorry. It's good to see you. That. Generation after generation of little upper class vandals. Don't you give them six of the best for defiling the chapel? No, it's tolerated. One of our age old traditions, do you see? Yes, I do. You institutionalize rebellious tendencies, give them a set place in your scheme of things, and that way you render them harmless. It's what the ruling class has always done in this country. Hey, I'm not a public meeting, you know. I'm just whistling in the dark, really. This place still gives me the shivers. I keep forgetting you've been here before. No, I was just a little girl. My cousin Harry was being confirmed. I think it was the Bishop of Exeter. I remember a lot of big boys looking down their noses at me, and Harry being so embarrassed to see me here in his man's world. When we were little, we used to climb trees together. Then, every time he came home for the holidays, he was further away from me, more and more like a stuffy English gentleman. I hated Bamfield for that. He's planting tea in Malaya now, I think. I bet he doesn't climb trees there. I'd hate to think that that's all we do to the boys here. I spend all of my time trying to open their minds, not close them. David, there's only one of you. What can you hope to achieve against all this? You should get out before it sucks you down. Well, I might not have any choice about that. What do you mean? Well, I... Oh, can't we go out into the air now? I can't breathe in here. Good afternoon, Headmaster. May I introduce Mrs. Christine Forster? How do you do? Mrs. Forster is the Labour candidate for Bill Hampton. I see. Excuse me, Father. You really are in a fight, aren't you? He looks like a bad enemy. You've got most of the big guns, too. David, if you have to resign, it could be the best thing that happened to you. Experience unemployment at first hand, you mean? No, we could go into politics. I'd soon find you a seat. What would I do till I won it? I've got to have a job. I've got a rich family like you. And well, this is the only job I can do. God, I'm a fool sometimes. I'm supposed to be a socialist, and here I am having the basic realities of life explained to me in a public school, of all places. Look, um, do you really have to be in Billhampton tonight? I was hoping we could have dinner. Uh, I could easily book you a room in Chalacombe, and where well, you could travel back in the morning. I'd like that, I think. But I promised I've got a meeting first thing in the morning. Oh. Look. I was going to ask you this, but I didn't know how to put it so you'd understand. The family's got a little cottage in Windermere that I use sometimes. I was thinking of going up there next weekend, while I still got the chance. If you can get away, would you like to come too? Oh, I don't think I can. Yes, I will. I'll manage it somehow. It's just one thing, David. I don't mean... No, this is ridiculous. The thing is, we wouldn't be sleeping together. I don't want to get... Your name is... Jacqueline, sir. Well, then, Jacqueline, perhaps you would explain to me the stage you have reached in the lesson. Ah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> well, I'm a French princess. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. You did ask to see me, Headmaster. Please sit down. Would you read this newspaper report, please, and tell me whether there has been any unfortunate confusion of identity? No, I... I did speak at this meeting, and... 
That's a pretty fair report of what I said. I see. Can I have the cutting back, please? Thank you. Yes, thank you, Father Jones.